Hey everyone, Ray Del Vecchio here, and in this video, we're going to discuss how you can use an FTP program to edit files within your WordPress website. And if you're not familiar with FTP, that stands for File Transfer Protocol, and it's just an easy way to transfer files from your computer to your web server. So I have a FileZilla open right here, and that's what you see. On the left hand side of the screen, this is our computer and you can go to the different folders here right now I have a folder open here but I'm not connected to a server so the right side of the screen is going to show your web server so let me go ahead and connect here and you can either do this quickly entering your information in this area your host name which is normally just your domain name your username and password and for me this is my cPanel username and password that I'm given when I create a website you could also save this information if you go to this button here which is the site manager so I'm gonna log in to this website and we're gonna connect and on this domain I have multiple WordPress installations so I'll go to the subfolder that we want to test right here and you'll notice the WordPress um, file structure with the WP admin, WP content and WP includes folder with your other PHP files so if you want to learn more about the structure of how um, the file hierarchy is set up within WordPress, I'm going to link another video that I did on how WordPress works. That'll be in the description below. What we're going to do on this video is install a plugin and a theme using, the, using FTP only. And I'll also show you how you can replace files. Let me go over to um, Google Chrome here. I'm going to download a plugin from the WordPress.org website where you can uh, search for plugins here. So this is pretty much what's built into your plugin section within WordPress. But say you're browsing the web, you come across a recommendation for a plugin, you can just download it. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a Kismet. And you know, once you check it out, make sure the ratings are good, just click the download button and that'll download a zip file. And if we go over to FileZilla, actually let me go to um, Windows File Explorer first and you'll notice I have that downloaded right here so you get this zip file and I'm just gonna unzip it let me see if I can just drag this folder into there so if we go back you'll notice that we have this folder a kismet so that's what we're gonna upload using FTP let me refresh this directory and you upload plugins from the WP content plugins folder so you can see each plugin has its own directory so I'm just gonna drag and drop this Akismet directory using FTP and you'll see all the files get transferred over and once we do that we can go into our WordPress section to activate this so let's go over here and I have the plugins page let me reload it and we should see our Akismet plugin and we can activate it just using the activate button and you're good to go using this plugin we're gonna do the same thing with the theme so let me go back to the WordPress page here I'm gonna click on the theme directory and I'm just gonna download any theme here just to test this out so we'll download it and then I'll go back to FTP here uh, refresh and once again I should have went to the file explorer first so from here I'm gonna do the same thing unzip it or go into the zip file and drag this folder up a level and once we go back here we can refresh on FileZilla and on the web server side we're gonna to navigate to the WP content themes folder so we were just in there I just went back a level and just go to the themes and once again just like the plugins you have a directory for each theme so we can drag and drop this simply black theme over here and once the files are done transferring we get the notification and we can go back to our theme section appearance themes and we should see our plugin or I'm sorry our theme here and once again it's not going to activate by default you have to come into here and activate it and you'll be good to go now let's say for instance you want to update a media file so I've had this happen where I uh, I include a a file in the media library on a post or a page and I just want to update it you know maybe I did something in Photoshop 
and I just want to update that photo, sometimes it's easier just to up upload a uh, a new photo to FileZilla and overwrite the existing image versus coming in here and doing it. So it all depends on what you're comfortable with, but let's say you do want to update a photo, you can go into the WP content upload section and this is where you'll have your files and I'm just gonna go into one of these folders and you'll notice that I mentioned in a couple other of my videos when you upload a photo you're gonna get four or five different resized images so if you're using this method you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you're only using one sized photo because otherwise you'd have to <laughs> create all these uh, new sizes manually so in that case you might want to just go into the WordPress section and re-upload but what you can do is you can uh, say you just wanted to uh, update this image you can drag it and drop it from your web server to your local computer and then edit the photo however you want within Photoshop or using another program and then you can re-upload it to overwrite you may also want to do this within a th a theme so sometimes a, a theme is going to use images like a background image for a banner and if we go into here let me see if uh, the Sydney theme that we downloaded in another video uses images and you can see they have an image folder so I don't know exactly what these images are used for one two obviously the header is used for a header area but you could potentially do the same thing where you drag and drop this or double click it to transfer it to your local computer, edit it, and then re-upload and overwrite it. Another useful tip with F FTP is if you go back to your WordPress installation folder, which is up a couple levels here, one file that is useful is this WP config file, and this is what's going to show you the database that you're connected to on your web server. So if you wanted to get that information, you can um, transfer this WP config file over to your computer and check it out within Notepad or Notepad++ and you'll you'll understand how the WordPress database is connecting to your web server and the other files that make up WordPress. So that's all I got for this video. I want to keep this one short just so you have a brief introduction on FTP and there are plenty of other FTP programs out there. I think one of the more popular ones for Mac uh, is Qt FTP, which I think I may have downloaded that a while ago and tried it, but FileZilla, they have programs for both Windows and Mac. If you go over here, just one other note with this, which I didn't mention at the beginning, is that you want to download the FileZilla client. The server is if you want to make your computer a server that's accessible. So say, for instance, I wanted to access files on my computer, I can create a server or install files. FileZilla server, excuse me, then this area will be my web computer and say I'm, you know, on Wi-Fi, I'm traveling, I can use my laptop to tap into my local computer if I have FileZilla server active on that, which is a pretty cool feature. For the use of, you know, your WordPress website on a web server, you don't need to worry about the FileZilla server, just download the FileZilla client and if we click on that, I don't know if this auto downloads. I think they may just determine uh, which platform you're on and give you the download, the download link for the correct one. So right now I'm on Windows, but if you're on your Mac, you should get a, uh, a Mac download here. And I think they just have the platforms here if for some reason they're not detecting your platform correctly. So I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something. If you're interested in building WordPress websites for clients, head on over to my website which is websiteprofitcourse.com and I have a free download there uh, 15 tools to start your web design business I can't remember if FileZilla is included on there because it is more of like a techie uh, program but I do use FileZilla a lot but I give you a lot of the other programs that I use including the WordPress theme that I use for client websites and other programs that uh, tap into the cloud so that you can sync files across all your devices if you work on a computer or a laptop or iPad or iPhone as well. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more instructional videos like this. Thanks everyone and I'll see you on the next video.